Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Lee and I am Books Know Best and I have a book haul for you. Um, oh, hang on, I forgot two books. Bear with. Hello. I wasn't gone for too long, was I? Anyway. So, um, I have six books to show you today. Yes, um, and so I'm going to get on with it, um, because my battery is quite low. Um, so the first book I have to show you is Dragon Shield, and this is by Charlie Fletcher. This is the guy who wrote The Oversight, which I showed you a little while ago. Um, and on the back it says, Something dark is stirring in the British Museum and has stopped time, freezing the city in its tracks. Will and Joe are plunged into this eerie world and find themselves pursued by murderous dragons. Racing for survival with help from a couple of friendly statues, they must escape the evil that stalks them through the streets of London. This sounds really good. It's actually quite short. It's only... Um, how long is it? It's 219 pages, so it's really short. And then I have a new Brandon Mole book, and this is the first book in the Five Kingdoms series, and it's Sky Raiders. And it has a cool cover with this like really eerie scorpion on it, and his kid trying to fight the scorpion. It looks like a Rick Riordan cover, and even on the front there's a quote by Rick Riordan just there, which says Brandon Mole is a wizard with words. Um, and this says, the Five Kingdoms of the outskirts are a strange in-between place. Nothing is as it seems, and once you get there, it's very hard to escape. Faced with castles in the air and jumping swords, Cole realises he's way out of his depth, but he has to find his friends. Can Cole rescue them and find his way home before it's too late? So that sounds really good, and I'm loving the cover. <coughs> and this is quite big, actually. This is 421 pages, so it's quite a, quite a chunker. And then today, um, I went for lunch with my sister, and she was like... Um, she was giving me a lift home and she was like, hey Lee, um, I really need to go to Tesco on the way back, is that cool? And I was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, so we got to Tesco and she went off to do her shopping. Sorry, it's sweating. I'm sweating so much, it's really hot in my room. Anyway, um, yeah. So she went off to get her shopping and um, I went to look at the books, obviously. And I saw these two books and I really wanted them and she came back to me and she was like, well, why don't you get them? And I was like, yeah, but I don't have enough money. She was like, well, I'll buy them for you. I was like, oh, okay then. Um, and they were in a deal. So I will show you what I mean. So these are the books I was on about. They're the first two in the All Souls trilogy by Deborah Harkness. Um, and if you see that sticker there, it says two for seven pound. So these two books were three pound 85, which is awesome. Um, and I'm going to take the cellophane off because there's some cellophane on. So I can show you both books. So, bear with me. A cellophane can be really difficult to take off. Yay! So, oh, there's a sticker on that one. Anyway, so these are the books. We have the first book, A Discovery of Witches, and the second, Shadow of Night. And these are exclusive covers and an exclusive deal for Tesco. Um, and they're really awesome. I really like these covers really nice. I mean, I'll read you the back of the first one. A world of witches, demons and vampires. A manuscript which holds the secrets of their past and the key to their future. Diana and Matthew, the forbidden love at the heart of it. That's what it says, but it looks awesome. Um, and this is an absolute chunker. It is... What is it? It's 687 pages, this one. Massive. And yeah, these are exclusive to Tesco because they're brand new covers and they're really awesome. And this is the second one, but I won't read the blurb because it might spoil it. But look at the sides as well. Look at the spines. They're awesome. On the first spine, it says, It begins with absence and desire. It begins with blood and fear. It begins with a discovery of witches. Up there. Ooh, I like it. And on this one, it says, Black is the badge of true love lost. The Hue of Demons and the Shadow of Night. Which is awesome. 
Anyway, yeah, so they're really cool, and they go on the shelf together, the spines match, and they look really good. And then, like I said, that was in a two for seven pound deal. So the other one I got is the paperback of The Goldfinch by Donna Tart. This is huge as well. And on the back it says, Age 13, Theo Decker, son of a devoted mother and an absent father, miraculously survives a catastrophe that otherwise tears his life apart. Alone and rudderless in New York, he is taken in by the family of a wealthy friend. Theo is tormented by longing for his mother, and down the years he clings to the thing that most reminds him of her, a small captivating painting that ultimately draws him into the criminal underworld. This is huge. Absolutely huge. It is... 864 pages. It's absolutely massive. I've heard that this is an amazing book, and it's being made into a movie, so... I will get to it at some point. I have another humongous book, Game of Thrones, which is about the same pages. But yeah, it looks awesome, and the spine's gorgeous, and it sounds amazing. So I'm looking forward to this. And the last book I got was also in Tesco. My sister, I saw it and wanted it, and my sister said, I'll buy you it. And it was only £2, so that was really good. And it's The Dynamite Room, and this is by Jason Hewitt. And on the front it says she had cried wolf and the wolf had come. And the wolf had come. That is cool. And the cover's beautiful. I love this cover. And the spine is really nice as well. It matches the cover. And it says on the back. July 1940, the Suffolk coast. England is under the threat of invasion. In the dead of night, a German Nazi officer swims to the shore and breaks into a boarded up house. Only to find a young girl, an escaped ev evacuee, hiding in the attic. Her family is gone. He tells her he won't hurt her, but she cannot leave the house. Over the next few five days, 11-year-old Lydia is held hostage in her own home. There are certain rules she must follow, but what is he doing there? And how does he know so much about Lydia's family? Eerie, thrilling and piercingly sad, the dynamite room explores, in the most extreme of circumstances, the bonds we share that make us human. So yeah, this sounds really good. And on the front, it has... A quote by Nathan Filer, who wrote The Shock of the Fall, and it says, Superb. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. So, yeah, that is my haul. Um, if you liked it, please like. And if you wish, you may subscribe, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.